Disney Princess Necklace International Contest by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hello everybody, in today's video I'm pretty much just going to be talking about a international competition that I'm going to be running. And I've gotten so many people talking to me about what it's been like to be an NTNA and I thought, hey, I'll give you guys you know, a little competition just to do for fun. And the prizes are going to be the Disney princess nails that I have been doing. So I've got a necklace that has everyone but anything from Frozen. So it's got all of like the classic ones, all of the other ones I did except for Elsa. So that's the first prize, first place winner. The second place winner, I have a pair of earrings. And the third place is going to be a nail file that I painted that has the Disney logo of Cinderella's castle on it. So I hope you guys are excited about these prizes. The competition is pretty low key. You can do natural nails, artificial nails, any media you want, 3D, flat, doesn't matter to me. Just make it something that makes you happy. So that is what we're going for. Competition is, or the nail entries are due in a month. Then I will announce the winner a week after that, or the winners. So definitely check back and keep me updated and send me some photos. I can't wait, I'm so excited. And I will see you in my next video, bye. All right, so to begin, I'm just going to go through, and you guys can certainly watch this video, but I want to go over all of the details and inspiration and everything behind this contest that I possibly can. So to start with, as you guys know, I have been participating in NTNA, especially if you've been following um, either my Instagram page or my channel. You should have seen plenty of NTNA stuff from me so far, but... I do want to say that that was the actual inspiration behind hosting this contest is that as soon as I announced my participation in NTNA, I had so many people coming to me on Facebook and on Instagram and everywhere asking me, you know, what it's like to be an NTNA, how is, how is it to do an, an online competition, what is it like, I mean, how is it emotionally to be in a competition like this, and all of all these questions about, you know, how much time do you have, what's the time constraints, and all that. So... Basically, what I wanted to do is I wanted to create a much less high-stakes competition for anybody who wants to participate, whether you're licensed or you're not, and just kind of give you an opportunity to do a sort of a similar situation to NTNA as far as, you know, it's online-based. You don't have to make a video for me or anything. I just want to see a picture, and what I want, what the theme of this contest is, is what makes you happy. So Disney princesses make a lot of people happy. That's why that they're, I mean, they're so prevalent. They're so... They're so loved by so many people because Disney movies just make you kind of happy. You know, that's what they're what they're good for. So that like I said, the theme for my contest is what makes you happy. So, you know, if blue, the color blue makes you happy, you can do a whole set inspired by the color blue. Or if, you know, penguins make you happy, go ahead, go all for it, do penguins. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's something that falls under that category, you can take that as literally or as figuratively as you like. And then as far as what I want, I want to see five or ten nails. I don't want it to be eight, but I want it to either be one or two hands, however you want to do it. And it can be um, it can be on you, it can be on somebody else, it can be five to ten nails that are just on a piece of paper that you created, not on a person. So just give me, send me a picture of five to ten nails of what makes you happy. And you can send that to me on Facebook, you can send it to me on Instagram. Um, there is a way to send messages on YouTube, but if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I don't really understand it. So I probably wouldn't do that, but Facebook or Instagram or an email is perfect for sending me your final pictures. And the other thing, the one last thing is that I also need to have a short little write up about your set. So if it's something just like the color blue and you don't give me a write up that says, I absolutely love the color blue because it was my grandmother's favorite color and that's what makes me happy or whatever your reason behind it is. I might not completely understand it. So I'd like to be able to understand why it makes you happy. So give me just a little breakdown of why it makes you happy. And maybe if you'd like to include a little bit of how you, you know, did something, especially if you did something really, really awesome, I'd love to know how you did it too. So all of that, all of that spit out, that is what the competition is about. That is my inspiration behind why I decided to do it. And the prizes, I'm um, as you saw, the first prize is going to be that Disney princess necklace with a lot of the classic, a lot of the classic Disney princesses in it. So that's prize numero uno. The second place prize is going to be an Elsa set of earrings. So it's got Elsa on one of the earrings, and then the other earring is the snowflake nail that I made to accompany it. So that's second place, and third place is going to be um, a little Disney nail file. So it's a nail file, and then it has just the little Disney classic logo of Cinderella's castle painted on it by myself. So all these things are things that I made and I spent the last year making and they're very dear and near to me. So the fact that I am 
doing these as my little contest prize are, I don't know, I guess it means a lot to me. So I hope you guys appreciate that. I know that it might not be as useful as a bunch of nail products, but it seems to be more meaningful to me. So I hope you guys like that. And the other thing that I want to mention with this is I know that I said um, it is international and it absolutely is. That's not an issue. So wherever you are in the world, please enter. I would love to see that. But the one thing I do want to mention is if you are under 18, if you are under 18, please have your parents' permission because if you are a winner, you will have to be giving me your address. And so just keep that in mind that if you are under 18, I can't accept your address without your parents' consent. And if you are over 18 and you simply don't want to give me your address, I understand it's a crazy world out there. You can't receive your prize, so please don't enter. I want somebody to receive this necklace or earrings or nail file that can actually, actually get it and actually wants to get it. So all of that just keep in mind. Now for the dates of everything. So this contest, or yeah, contest starts today. So it begins right now. So as soon as you watch this video, go ahead and start working if you want to. And the final day for turning in entries is going to be March 28th. So that's a Saturday and it's going to be March 28th, midnight at United States Central Time. So March 28th, just mark that date down on your calendar. Try to get it into me before then if it's after that date, I won't be able to consider it in my judging. The other thing for judging is I will be doing, when it gets closer to the March 28th mark, I will be actually probably like on March 29th, I will be posting a, a top entries on my Instagram page and then there will be some voting available. Just like how it is with NTNA, there is some voting and that will be not like the end all be all of what my final judging is, but it will definitely be a consideration, especially if there's sort of a tie situation. You know, if I'm like, oh, I don't know if A or B is the best and everybody on Instagram is like, go B, go B. Um, B will be the first place winner. So all of that keep in mind. And if you do send me an entry, check out my Instagram account and vote for yourself, of course, when it gets closer to that point. I hope all of that makes sense. And I hope you guys are super excited. And I know that a lot of people ask me about the emotional part of being in a competition like NTNA. And I have a lot of experience with that kind of a situation. I tried my hand at being an actress when I was younger. So I had that whole audition, letdown, audition, letdown situation going on. And I received some information from some of my coaches and everything at one point that said, audition and forget it. And that held true to me. And I still feel that way. You know, you submit your work, you do what you got to do, and then you just forget about it because if you just spend your time thinking about it and worrying about it, you're going to go insane and that's not healthy for you. And it doesn't really make any difference sitting up all night, chewing your fingernails, which is so horrible. Otherwise, just because you're concerned about it doesn't really help anything anyway. So my suggestion would be to submit your work to me. Trust me. I, I am so very excited to see all of your work and I'm sure it's all lovely. Don't overstress about it. Don't be deterred to enter because you're afraid of what the outcome might be. I would love to see that. So please, 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 please just do it. Just enter. I am so excited. So that is it for the contest. And here is a Melody Minutes about our recent trip to Disney World. Daddy, do you want to get him a kiss? You want to give him a hug? Can you high five? Good job. More kiss? Give 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please send me your entries to Facebook, Instagram, or email them to me. And all the details of the whole thing will be in the description box. And good luck!